Hey filmmakers, today we're gonna do a battle of the blimps. And on this side, we have the Rode blimp windshield. And over here, we have the DF Digital Photo Myco Live. So how do they perform? What do they cost? And which one should you get? You're about to find out. At first glance, you might've thought these were the exact same blimp, but they're not. When you take a closer look, you can see that they each have a different grip. That's the biggest telltale difference between them. There are some other differences as well, and we're gonna break them all down. The first one, and most important to a lot of filmmakers, is the price. The Rode Blimp windshield is $300 at the time of filming this, while the Myco Live is only $185, so about half the price. That's a huge difference. So is the Rode Blimp windshield worth twice the price. They are almost identical when it comes to their form factor. So far, they're looking pretty much the same. They each have these little twist locks on the bottom. And for comparison purposes, I'm actually using the exact same microphone on both of them. It's the Rode NTG2. Now, I will be doing some audio tests later in the video, so stick around. Now, I'm not testing the actual performance of the Rode NTG2, but just how well it performs with the blimp and how it does with wind and that kind of stuff. Okay, so once the blimp is off of them, you can see some subtle differences between the two. So let's start with the Rode. The first part is this XLR cable that plugs into the back. And this design actually kind of worries me because the XLR input goes to this really, really thin cable and then to this large fat one where it goes back to a normal size to go out of the blimp. But it kind of worries me that this little part will short out. Now on the Myco Live, we have the same little XLR cable that's built into the handle, but it's thick all the way through. So I'm not worried about this cable shorting out. Next, let's look at the actual Rycote mounts on each of them. So I'm gonna pop the microphone off. The Rycote mount design looks nearly identical. They both have the exact same shape. The clips are the same. There's a little bit of rubber on the insides. Honestly, this part is like identical. Now moving on to the rail underneath, this portion is also made of metal and looks identical on each model. You've got a plastic screw here that allows you to slide this back and forth. And again, pretty much exactly the same both made of plastic, no difference there. Then you have the articulating part here. There's a knob on the back that allows you to kind of tilt the mic in a different direction, made of plastic, kind of clicks as you do it. This one feels exactly the same. Clicks, and then you can tighten it into place. Where I can see a difference is in the grip part itself. So on the Rode Blimp, it has this nice rubberized grip and it feels really nice in the hand. On the Myco Live, it's just plain plastic. It's still ergonomic in the hand, but it doesn't have that nice soft rubber coating on it. Then next you have the cable that runs through this little clamp and you just clamp it down to really tighten it. And this one is seriously identical, functions the same performs the same on each of them. So at this point, as far as form, build quality, and overall design, I'd say they are almost an exact match. And the differences that there are, are very negligible. I don't think they're going to affect performance, but we're gonna take both of these out now into the real world. Okay, so now we're outside for the real world test and we have cars driving by, there's a light breeze going on, airplanes flying overhead, dogs barking, all the kind of stuff that you would actually have in the real world when you're filming outside with these blimps. So on this side, we have the DF Digital Photo. On this side, we have the Rode Blimp. So, so far, the sound is sounding pretty much identical on either of them. I'm not really hearing any difference. But of course, we're gonna do some tests and see if there's some difference in their ability to cut wind and things like that. And I have both the microphones going into my Zoom H6 and they have the same level set with a gain set at five. So let's get some artificial wind blowing on them and see how well they do to cut that out. <laughs> 
Okay, so I think the results of that were pretty good. I wasn't really hearing any wind noise, a slight amount, but I mean, I'm putting direct wind into the front capsule of these microphones, and I heard just a tiny, tiny bit of but not much at all. They're doing a fantastic job of blocking it. Without these on, you would be hearing horrible, horrible wind noises. Okay, now we're gonna do a boom pole test with the blimp and let's see how well it handles some shaking and I'm obviously gonna over dramatize this so you could really see how well the blimp does of isolating movement in the boom pole when recording. Okay, so as you could tell from that test, you're not really getting any noise going into the microphone, except when you really rattle and shake it. I can hear the microphone kind of bouncing around inside of the whole suspension system inside the blimp. So you do get a little bit of rattle if you really shake it hard. But if you're just doing normal movements with this, no noise at all from it. All right, so I think we basically have the same results there as with the Myco Live. When you're doing normal movements, there's no noise introduced into the mic itself. It's isolated well in the suspension system. But once you start really erratically shaking it, then the microphone starts to rattle and bounce around inside of the blimp. So normal procedure, don't shake the boom mic, just be gentle with it. A huge bonus of the Myco Live is that it actually comes with a dead cat that you can put onto the blimp. Now, the Rode blimp does have a dead cat, but it doesn't come with it. It's an extra 50 bucks. So for the total package, the blimp and the dead cat from Rode, it's 350 bucks. From DF Digital Photo, the Myco Live, it's only 185 bucks. You get the blimp and a dead cat. So it's less than half the price and you get more. Now, thank you to the guys at DF Digital Photo for sending this out to me for a review. They did not pay me to say any of this, hashtag not sponsored. So in my honest opinion, if I were to go out and need to buy another blimp, would I get the Rode or the Myco Live? Honestly, the Myco Live, hands down, 100% of the time. I do not think that the Rode blimp is worth more than twice the price. And it doesn't even come with a dead cat. So hands down, this is an absolute win. It's gonna do the exact same thing. It sounds fantastic outside in the wind and does just a good of a job as the road. Go out, get one of these if you need one. Check out the links in the description below. And guys, if you wanna learn how to light and shoot better videos, hit subscribe right now. I have a ton more videos coming out on shooting, editing, everything like that. All right, I'll see you in the next video.